Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm fine. Uh, just fine. I'm a bit busy with uh, other research projects and uh, Hollywood documentaries. But uh, no big deal. Ah, yes. Only the finest Cubano cigarros from uh, Cuba. I'm a busy man. What would you like to know? For this, uh, the research team and I thought it would be uh, great to concentrate on Roman Catholicism in its early years. Plenty of corruption there. Well, we focused on the uh, Roman Emperor Constantine when he decided to exalt the Christian clergy, uh, beginning from 313 AD to around 325 AD. No, dummy, I said exalt. Constantine exalted the clergy, meaning to uh, bump up in status or social rank. Yes, and if I may continue, basically anyone working for the bishop or the church were given special privileges in the Roman Empire. Needless to say, many people suddenly heard their calling from God, and Christianity became very popular under Constantine. Everything from tax exemptions to some forms of prostitution, Constantine also made sure people of the clergy, people working for God, were given special uh, allowances from the emperor himself. That, in addition to whatever they were able to squeeze from the church-going citizen's pocket on Sunday, uh, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink. Yes, well, the clergy in those days were uh, very well off. In addition, they were not tried by uh, the normal court systems, and some bishops even had the power to sit as uh, one of the judges in the uh, Roman court system. Yes, as you can see, these men had plenty of leeway uh, for corruption. Yes, bye. Uh, you were boring me anyway. Lots of work to do. Lots, lots of work. <laughs> 